Hello everybody, welcome to Dr. Chef. This week we're going to be making my sweet lemon hottie hot wings. Um, my lovely camera woman, my wife, and my kids are out of town this weekend, so it's just me. So I'm going to be doing both camera and cooking. Let's see if I can get this done. If I look a little disheveled, it's because it got really hot in Chicago this weekend. Well, hotter than normal. and The air hasn't been switched over to cold air, so I've been sweating like crazy with the oven going. I'm warm, so let's get this done. So I have the chicken ready to go. I just have regular chicken wings. I've patted them dry as I can. You want them as dry as possible to get crispy skin. On a regular sheet tray with a little foil and oiled or buttered, make sure they don't stick while they're cooking. Get your oven preheated to 375 degrees. All right. Now I like to spice my wings before we start, so we have a little onion salt, uh, seasoned salt, smoked paprika, a little cayenne, and a little garlic salt. Um, have those all mixed together nice here. I've already done one side. I'll just spice the other side and we'll get these in the oven. Don't need a ton. We're gonna, they're gonna have good spice at the end. Again, the key here is to make sure you get as much moisture off the wings as you can before you put them in the oven. That's what's gonna give you the crispy skin. You can also fry them if you want. Fried food just doesn't agree with my stomach, so I like to do baked. And that's about it. So we'll put those in the oven for about 45 minutes until the internal temperature is about 180 degrees and, uh, to make sure that we don't get any of the terrible diseases from a undercooked chicken. And then we'll make our sauce. All right, let's get started on our sauce. So we need to have a hot element and a sweet element. For the hot element, I am using the Cholula green pepper sauce, which is my favorite. Also, the Tabasco green works. Any hot sauce you like will work for this. For the sweet element, I'm going to use a little honey. This is also going to be our thickener. You're also going to need a lemon, lemon zest, finely grated, garlic finely grated, and we're going to use a little crushed black pepper and salt as well. So let's get started. All right, so get our pan warming up here and add in our Cholula. And once this gets warmed up, we'll mix in the rest of the ingredients and we'll go from there. Alright, now that it's heated up to a nice low heat, we want it to be low because this is going to cook for a while, okay? We're going to add in one little pat of butter. Let that start mixing in. Melting nicely. Get my spoon here. A nice wooden spoon. Alright. I'm going to keep stirring everything. Let that butter start melting in. We want this low and slow because we want the ingredients to meld and at the end we'll turn it up to a good boil when we put the wings in. Alright, now we add in our lemon zest. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. And our garlic. Excellent. And from there, I'm going to add in some fresh cracked black pepper. And some salt. And we'll just mix that up. Oh yeah, you can already smell the flavors just coming together. Fantastic. All right. And then one juice of the lemon. Before I forget, I'll try not to get seeds in there. Actually, this lemon's so big, I think half a lemon's going to do the trick. Man, juicy, juicy, juicy. Mix again. So that's really thinned out the sauce. We need to thicken it. And fortunately, to thicken it, we have our honey. So you can do this based on how you want it, sweeter, hotter, okay? Put in a good dollop of honey. All right. Give it a good stir and then let it simmer on low till it thickens. 
And by that time, our chicken should be ready. We'll mix it up and we'll go from there. Okay, the wings are done and they are nice and crispy. Let's get those out of the oven. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll get our sauce going here. So let's get those mixed up. All right. Wings are perfect. Just drop those right in the sauce. Oops, some stick a little bit. That's why you always spray the pan well. Some are sticking just a little bit. Turn that down. This is the part I usually talk about history wings. Wings don't go back as old as some of the other stuff we've done. Um, you know, there's there's a few competing theories on where wings came from. My favorite is the Anchor Bar in New York. I accidentally got an order of, of wings in and they had a late night party and had to figure out what to do with them and thus wings were born. The thing I love about wings is wings know no culture. They know no economic status. Everybody seems to like wings. Everyone watches them big events, parties, they're associated with fun, they're delicious, handheld, edible, um, crossing all societies and classes with the United States, and that's one of the reasons I love wings, plus they're freaking tasty. Um, I do love classic buffalo wings, but this is my favorite flavor of wing. So we got those in, and we just give it a good, put your lid on, and give it a good shake. Coat everything well. Oh, that's Oh my gosh, you can smell this. And that has just turned out amazing. Let me show you here. Those wings, with just a little sweet, just a little hit of heat and garlic, a little sour, I love it. It's gonna be amazing, let's eat some. And here we are, done and plated. Set for just a second, because they are super hot. Let's try and see what we got here. Mm. First you get the sweet, you get a little sour, you get a little bit of late heat. It doesn't come on immediately. It builds. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh god. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Probably too close to my face. I know. Sorry. But it's just that good. That's it for these wings. Next week we're off for Easter, but we'll be back the week after that. See you next time.